Well, good afternoon, travelers. Todd here with Traveling Around Disney, and me and Michelle have come over to Epcot today because we snagged a lunch reservation right over here in Italy, right over here, the country right behind me, for Via Napolia. It has been a long time since we've been to Via Napolia. And so we're gonna walk around the world showcase to head that way, so come along. Enjoy some of the sights and sounds of Epcot, and let's see what Via Napolia has to offer us today. And that is where we're heading to Italy, right over there on the other side of the lake. And there are the barges for the new Harmonio show that starts October 1st. Cannot wait to see that show. This is actually right beside Germany. It's the train, but it is only put. It was originally only put up here temporarily because this is actually a country parcel. Another country could actually go here between Germany over here to this side and Italy over to this side. But since it was so popular, they've decided to keep this until they get another country here for World Showcase. To Okay, travelers, so we have made it over to the Italy Pavilion right here behind me. And did you know that Italy was one of the first nine countries here and opened with Epcot in 1982 on October 1st? It actually, when you come to the Italy, Italy Pavilion, God, I wish I could talk again today. When you come to the pavilion, it actually represents different regions of Italy. But it also has its little waterway right down here. It's got the gondolas from Venice. And then all kinds of different little areas are represented in the Italy Pavilion. No rides are associated here, but there are three dining locations we have still yet to try. Okay, my research team may have told me that I might be saying Via Napolia wrong. It's Via Napoli. up here but they're actually faux painted as you can tell right here it's not really marble but they have been faux painted to look like marble and that's where we are headed right there via Napoli Napoli one of those two but I know they got some great pizza and we are so excited So here we go, it's Tutu Italia, still another uh, location we gotta try. And then right over here, Gusto's Wine Tavern. Wine cellar we still gotta try. And then Via Napoli, right there. They have one of the best locations for the Epcot Spaceship Earth right there. And here in Italy, they do have the quick service window back open right over here. Pizza alla Tegalia. I know I said that all wrong, but it is open.
the chef's hard at work. And that is the three ovens. They are wood-fired ovens that go up to 700 degrees. But did you know Stromboli, the, the CBO, and Etna are actually volcanoes in Italy? And that's what these three ovens represent, are the volcanoes of Italy. But they are getting the pizzas ready. Okay, travelers, we have made it inside of the Italy, pa Italy Pavilion here at Epcot, and we're at Via Napoli, or Via Napoli. I still don't know how to say that word. So, anyway. Maybe it's I, Napoli. Oh, don't tell me another third version. We'll have to find out what that is. But we're here to dine. Now, it's been a long time since me and Michelle have been here, so it's kind of exciting. Year no, it's not. actually been about two years because we had a Christmas party here with some of my fellow castmates. Hello, fellow castmates out there that we had our Christmas party here. So we're going to take a look small at the menu. One. It was a very not good. a big cast party. Like <laughs> it was a, a very small, small cast party. Friend the, cast party. Yeah, friends. <laughs> Just so. <laughs> yeah, nobody feels offended crazy. that they weren't invited. So we're going to take a look at the menu and see what we can, what tickles our fancy to eat today. Hey. It's Doug! Can I help you? It's Neverland right there. Uh, Neverland right there. You guys wow, remember yeah. him? <laughs> awesome. I, like, I know that voice. I know that voice. So that is Doug. Like I said, Neverland. So he works here at Via Napoleon, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to take a look at the menu. And we did get, they have touchless menus here also. But we also did get a hard menu. So we can see what we want to eat on. But I did see they have tiramisu, so let's see. Uh, of course, the libation page back there, right there. But of course, right there, looky there. Oh, I cannot wait to look at this menu. I'm trying to talk the shell into the yarder. It's that big pizza, it's like this long. So that's what I'm trying to talk her into, but there's some really good dishes on here. So we'll take a look and see what we come up with. So Ashley, our server, just came by and she clarified the name for me. Michelle asked her, can you pronounce it for us? And it's Via Napoli. So we are here at Via Napoli in the Italy Pavilion of Epcot. So excited. Okay, and we actually got a beautiful window seat. Look at that. It's like we're in Italy. When it's a little bit cooler outside, it's one of the oh, best yeah. spots to have. Yeah, so we're thinking November, December, right? Yeah. yeah, when it's a little bit cooler. January, February. Yeah, but it's like you're in Italy. <laughs> okay, first thing me and Michelle noticed, we love these glasses here at Via Napoli. Um, this is a patina group runs this restaurant here at Epcot. Not a Disney group, but a patina group. So they run the restaurant here, but they do bring you ice water and your beverage of choice, which today, of course, we're getting pizza, so I got a Coca-Cola. So cannot wait to give this a try nice and cold that sounds stupid to give something a try but it is so hot outside this is well needed and since it's a third party group and Ashley just dropped off our straws we do have our agave straws in our bag just in case I carry my bag right here now so I won't forget my straws but looky here they have a plastic biodegradable straw here at Via Napoli. So it is a not cardboard, but it is a plastic biodegradable, not agave, but it's better than paper or cardboard, in my personal opinion. That is so good, travelers. And by the way, welcome to our table. So, of course, we are here and we had to get an appetizer and we decided with the calamari frita it's fried calamari rings and spicy tomato sauce and that is $23 today so for our entree today I talked to Michelle into the half meter mezzo metro pizza and we Flash breaking news. What's flash breaking news? From your research department. Research department these has discovered. Actually, maybe better than agave. Because these decompose, they said, did I say it right? Biodegrade. Decompose. Decompose. Within <laughs> five to six months. Really? So these. To where the agave can take years. But at least they're better than but this is having to cut down the trees. Completely biodegradable. 
it says it doesn't leave any residue that harms the environment like plants or animals. It just says ocean friendly. Marine biodegradable home plus industrial compostable. Oh, for cold drinks only. Oh, for cold. I uh, must when melt. Would you use it for hot? I don't know. Some people might drink coffee. Yeah. These are TAD approved. These are TAD approved. <laughs> Michelle came up with that acronym, TAD, which I was like, what does TAD mean? And she's like, traveling around Disney. I was like, oh. I said our family could be like, like we, well, they're travelers though. The tadpoles. I said tadpoles. <laughs> the tadpoles. I'm not sure I want to be a frog. That's actually what my dad <laughs> called me. When I was a small wee child, many, many moons ago, he called me tadpole because my name was Todd. So. It's like swing away. I know. I just tell y'all these. Do you get the reference now? Swing away. Swing you know what? the movie. Remember what was it? Signs or what was that movie called? I have no idea. With, what are you talking um, about? Kevin. What's his name? Costner. No, wrong person. The, Where they put the, the Jesus guy. Who the, was that? Jesus. Guy. Yeah. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Where Gibson. he says swing away. That's but called signs. Because she is it. Yeah. All right, we'll see signs. Tadpole. Tad child. Yeah. Okay, travelers. The calamari has come to the table. Right there is, and you can see the little the Annapolis right back down the corner. But look at that, that looks so good. Cannot wait to give this a try. And a big old marinara right there for us to dip in. So we have decided, and I talked to Michelle into the half meter mezzo metro pizza, and that serves three to four. But it's a half a yard or pizza. It's like this long. And we got pepperoni and cheese. Basic, nice, beautiful pizza. But here at Vienna Napoli, uh, the Patina Group actually flies in all the ingredients from Italy. I'm not really sure about right now during the times, but usually they fly everything in the tomatoes, the flowers, everything comes from Italy to make this pizza. But our server also suggested, to suggested, God, there I go again, I can't speak. She says, would you like basil on that? And I was like, looked at her, and I looked at Michelle, she's like, it's not a true, true traditional unless you have basil. So we also got that. So pepperoni, cheese, and basil on our metro today. Let's try some of this calamari. It is just greens, no tentacles today. But we do put lemon on all of our calamari before we eat it. It's very crispy. Mm. Very crispy and really tender. Not too chewy or anything like that. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I like this calamari. We'll have to do maybe a five best calamaris of Walt Disney World. Because Teresa said maybe we should do a five best tiramisu's of Disney World. So It is $23, I said. Yeah, that plate was $23. And I didn't and I know that when I ordered it, or I probably wouldn't have ordered it. Yeah, but we had to have an appetizer today, so that's okay. And leftovers we can always take home, so that's good. I mean, it is only $11 a piece, but still. Come on. I enjoy that. Very good. So we were wondering if, you know, sometimes you wonder if you're eating real calamari. And I know this is going to look bad, but this is a whole little squid guy that didn't get cut all the way. But that's his whole little body right there. Sorry, guys. Wait. Calamari squid? Yes, calamari is, is squid. What is calamari? It's squid. But this is very tasty calamari. Might be a little pricey for me for I $23. It was octopus. No, calamari is squid. And this is my research team. This is my research team. Right well, there, it's folks. It's the same thing, right? They look the same. Oh, no. Oh, Just God. Smaller. I, I'm, I apologize. We're, you're going to have to cut that out. No. Octopus and squid look nothing alike. Squid's got the little tentacle and the long body. Octopus has the fat body with the long tentacle. Hearing is, it's like a horse and a pony. It's the same thing. They're they're in the same family. Can we say that? Can we say that? I think we can. This is very tasty today. But like I said, the twenty-three dollars might be a little pricey for that appetizer. I mean, I'd get it again. That's not a problem. 
but it is very good. And don't forget, travelers, to continue to, if you are a fellow traveler with us on our channel, don't forget to send in your location where you're watching from. The Travelers Board is getting bigger and bigger, and we're getting more and more names. We try to update it like once a week. And if you haven't joined us yet as a traveler, just travel on down below this video right here and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you send in your name and Are we ready for the location. Yes. Thank you I so much. So. Okay, travelers, the yarder has come right Why do you here. Call it a yarder? It's a, it's a, oh. I'm sorry, Mezzo Metro. It sounds like you're it's saying a Mezzo Metro. A yarder. a yarder is a beer. A big <laughs> the Mezzo Metro, the half Mezzo Metro, has arrived at the table and it looks fantastic. I wonder if I could pick this up. You think I can pick this up? Is it hot? Nah, not that it hot. It is hot. Come on. Oh what? no, I'm gonna have to go to the. Uh, you're gonna gotta have get to go over there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. Hold on. And there it is. Look at that. So we are going to enjoy this. But this is the Metro, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to try this pizza. It's gonna be so exciting. Okay, be right back. And of course, we're not gonna eat it all. We're gonna take some of it home with us for dinner tonight. But the one thing I love about this pizza is they use the little pepperoni and they cup up and get a nice crispy edge. But we'll get into that when we start to eat the pizza. Did you know the ovens here get 700 degrees and they can actually cook a pizza within two minutes? Another fun fact about here at Vienna Boy. But they brought out the cheese and red pepper flakes on a plate. And that looks like somebody we may know. Look at that. That is so cute. They put it in the shape of a Mickey here. So here we go. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Look at, oh, and that is a slice right there of the pizza out of the Metro. I keep thinking of like Metro West. Mm. All right, this one you have to almost fold. Mm-hmm. Michelle's right, this is a folder. Crust is nice and thin, just the way I like it. Nice and crispy. I know, the pepperonis are piled on there. Nice and cut, and they got that nice crispy edge to them. T and Ashley, you were right. The basil on there makes a big difference in this pizza. I have to get that. Oh my gosh, there's stuff just running everywhere. This is a fantastic pizza. Oh, I think I got sauce on my face. Yep, there we go. So definitely worth the wait. And it this is one of the harder reservations to get here at Epcot. And this we just is great for a family. Yeah. Like, even with the cost of it, when you divide it by the number of people that it This needs. was $55 yeah, but for it this says one. three to four people. Yeah, you could feed a family of four yeah. or five here. Easy, easy with this pizza. So We're going to continue to enjoy this, guys. And we will let you know how... Oh, look, I got sauce running everywhere now. Got to go. So on this Metro Mezzo pizza, there's actually 12 slices. But you see how big the slices were in that. Michelle put red peppers on her pizza, and now it's a little hot over there for her. She's eating it with a fork, too. I would, I, you know, as soon as we get our thousand travelers, you'll be able to see somebody eat pizza with a fork. Okay, I got me another piece of our pizza, but this time I went with mostly cheese, because their mozzarella cheese is actually like a sliced mozzarella that they lay on top of the cheese. But look at that pile of, and I've already eaten like six pepperonis off of there. But they're just so good. They're just so good. It gets that oil, all of grease and oil all over the pizza. I love this pizza. Okay, Traver, me and Michelle have put a huge dent into this pizza. We, have it. we might have a couple pieces left here. I'm gonna show you. Oh. I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me flip my camera around so I can show you. Just, I can't believe I ate so much pizza. Yep, that's right. That's what's left of our pizza right there. Michelle had one piece over here, and I had these two pieces, and that is it after the calamari. I can't eat any more because I'm saving room for dessert. Tiramisu. But look at that right there. Michelle just looked up. 
and excitement that she's getting tiramisu. Look at that. Oh. I'm telling you, if you can get a reservation, guys, get one. It is fantastic. Very nice distancing in here. Very comfortable restaurant. They've really done a great job here. Well done, and congratulations to Patina Group. Great job. So we are getting tiramisu. And just remember, travelers, just like anything else, this camera that I use adds about 60 to 70 pounds Absolutely. onto the person. So I'm really as not as big and rotund. I have met some people already that on there, you think that's yeah. really large, but when you meet them in person, you're like, oh my God, they're tiny. Yeah. So does that mean, are they gonna look at me and say, oh my gosh, he's huge? Yeah, I mean. We, yeah, we, they will, yeah. No, no, it's like we've met a couple saying, vloggers. Yeah. It's like we've met a couple vloggers and I knew they were tall until you meet them and it's like, Okay, he's really tall. So it is weird how when you meet different people out in the parks, it's like... They're different than what you yeah. think that they look like. Yeah. So when you see me, I'm about a 38 waist. I stand <laughs> about six foot, I am six foot tall. I only look a little heavy. I'm not as heavy as I look. Like I said, I'm on a Disney dining quest. But here at Via Napoli, also, they have a la carte, which the menu... Michelle as I'm sure already posted in the video but a chicken parmesan just walked by this table and I was like oh man so well it was being carried it was, okay yeah I didn't walk by it was being carried by the table god now she's oh my gosh so it looked really good so maybe one day we can come back after we finish our Disney dining quest and god that could be like a year and a half before we come back again but it looked really good. Okay, travelers, and just speaking with Ashley, she came to the table. We did ask her about discounts, and they do cast member discounts. They do annual pass discounts. They do DVC discounts, and they still are offering the Tables in Wonderland discount here because they found out that some this, some of the Tables in Wonderland were renewed in April, so they're giving them to the end of August here to be able to use that Tables in Wonderland card. So those are the discounts, and of course with cast member are the tables in Wonderland. They automatically add the gratuity back in. So just make sure you look at your check when you're using a discount here. Also with the plant-based and the vegan-based, make sure you let your server know, and they have a menu that they can show you and what they can recommend, because I actually have seen a cauliflower crust today on the menu, so always, that's always an option. Never think it's not so just make sure you ask your server the tiramisu arrived they brought two spoons michelle's going to share with me probably like two bites but look at this that is this mascarpone heaven right there look i'll give you i know you're hungry right now look at that so we are going to give this a try and michelle has even claimed her weapon of choice already and this is my weapon of choice it's got a little mascarpone on there so let's give it a try, Michelle. She got a little baby bite. Cheers. They're mascarpone. Now that's right? thicker. It is thicker. This is fantastic. Got a great rich taste. The coffee is not over absorbing it. I think Michelle might be coming around to the tiramisu liking. The cocoa powder on top, nice good layer. I like that it's thicker. Yeah, it's not that runny, it's not a lighty, airy one. It's a nice ah. thicky one. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I lost control of my spoon. Michelle lost control of her spoon over there. This is a good tiramisu. This might have vaulted. Now that is good. This now, has vaulted to my number one tiramisu so far we have eaten on camera. Because it's not overly coffee. Right. It's got a thick flavor, great taste, great flavor. It does. You can taste the mascarpone, it's not sort of, overly sweet. It's kind of light, maybe. Like, it's not heavy, but yet it's creamier. Right. Yeah, it is creamier, and not, like I said, it's not, like, whipped with a lot of air in it to give it that high rise to it. This is a great tiramisu. Not overly sweet. 
Mm -hmm. Definitely taste the chocolate. I think we have found one that Michelle really likes. You like that, don't you? You can go ahead and say it. I think I do like it. Yeah. It's a, it's a great tiramisu guy. What a great way. A great way to end a great lunch. And even if you're full, it's easy to yeah. eat. Great way to end the lunch here at Epcot. You've seen the table views. You've seen the restaurant. Everything was wonderful today. Ashley did a fantastic job as a server. She was great. It was great seeing Doug today from Neverland. We'll link his page down below. But travelers, this was just a great experience. Once again, welcome to our table. And then next time, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there. Thanks Hi, there's some once again, guys, for joining us. We are en route to Canada. While on board, we do ask that you remain fully seated, please, or if standing, remain stationary. French Bay is a free floating vessel, does bump around occasionally, so just remain stationary, we'll be fine. On board, face coverings are required at all times, covering nose, mouth, and chin. So along with that, then please, no eating, drinking, smoking, or vaping. We'll be arriving over in Canada in just a few moments. Enjoy the ride. There's the new harmonious merges. They are all out here now. The center ring and then the four merges around will have LED lights. It'll be water show with the water projections and all that good stuff. Really cannot wait to see this. And this off to our left, that leads you down to our international gateway. Small to our back entrance to Epcot. There you can get our friendship boat down to our Epcot resorts as well as Hollywood Studios as well as with the Skyliner. From there, the Caribbean Beach, our animation, Pop Century, and eventually down to Hollywood Studios. But this show begins October Off 1st. Off to our right, those black barges are for our brand new fireworks special that debuts October 1st. And it's for Harmonious, the largest fireworks show Disney has ever put on. It will take place nightly beginning October 1st, coinciding with Walt Disney World's 50th birthday. Until then, we do have our Epcot Forever fireworks taking place nightly at closing. There, that was a perfect explanation from the boat captain. Or the first assistant up there. If you want to learn more about what's going to be taking place here in Epcot over the next few years, right up here. In between Mexico and our test track, Odyssey Building. There you can see our presentation. Give you all the information on Epcot for the next few years. As we approach the dock here, Canada, just a reminder, please remain fully seated or standing stationary, holding off to the railing and benches. And French Bay is a free floating vessel, does bounce around a bit. Capital DVD OK wants it is safe to stand and go ashore. Welcome to Canada. Yeah, and if you can catch a friendship boat back from the back of World, Sh World Showcase to the front, it really does save you some steps and get you out of that heat once in a while. But we are back to the front of World Showcase. 